Hello my dear students, in this video we will try to learn how to derive an expression for gravitational potential energy. We will see what it is first. Gravitational potential energy means it is the work done, it is the work done in bringing a mass okay, from infinity to that point in the gravitational field. Usually potential energy means work done, correct now. For example, potential energy we know mgh. What is work? What is mg in that equation? Mg means force, mass into acceleration. H means what? Height or displacement. Correct now. Potential energy means force into displacement is equal to work done. In all the potential energy derivations, if they have asked you to derive potential energy, first we have to find work done. So, how to define gravitational potential energy at a point due to earth is the amount of work done in displacing the particle from infinity to that point. So, we will see how to derive it. Say this is earth, okay. Say mass of the earth is m e or m, okay. m I will take. Say I want to calculate gravitational potential energy at point P. This point P is at a distance, radial distance r, okay. According to definition, gravitational potential energy due to earth at a point at a point is the work done is the work done in displacing the particle from infinity to the given point so what you have to do you have to displace particle from infinity to the given point now here there is a problem this is very important if the particle is here at point p there is some gravitational force between this earth and this mass some force if the particle is far away from earth, that force is less. Means what? When you bring this particle from infinity to the point, gravitational force increases or force of attraction between the particle and the earth increases. That means here there is a variable force. Whenever there is a variable force, we should take the help of calculus or integration. So, what we will do? First, we will consider two intermediate points A and B which are very close to each other, okay. Say the particle of mass m is there now at point A, the distance between point A and the earth, let it be x. Now, say particle is being displaced from point A to point B. So, this small displacement, I call this small displacement as dx. In displacing the particle from point A to point B, small work is done that small work done i call it as dw okay dw what is that small work done work done is equal to force into displacement or dot product of force and displacement f into x into cos theta or dw is equal to f into dx into cos theta correct now now what is cos theta theta is the angle between force and displacement I am displacing the mass in this direction. Gravitational force is also in the same direction. So, angle between gravitational force and displacement is 0. Okay. So, cos 0 will be equal to 1. Okay. Since uh, theta is equal to 0 degree, cos 0 is equal to 1. <coughs> so, what happens? dw will be equal to f dx, f dx since cos 0 degree is equal to 1. Okay. What is F? F is a force of attraction between earth and this particle. Okay. So, what happens? Let me substitute here. dW is equal to F means force between mass and this particle. G into mass of the earth into mass of the particle. Mass of the earth into mass of the particle divided by square of the distance between them distance between them is x and that is variable x is decreasing okay how to calculate total work done ah, okay so this is force dw equal to force into dx into dx how to calculate total work done total work done is equal to integration of dw <coughs> integration of dw or integration of integration of g into me into m divided by x square 
into dx. From where to where you have to integrate, what does it mean? Here there is small displacement. Correspondingly, there is a small work done. Such very such too many small work done are there, there here. Dw, 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 correct now. So, this is one dw. We have to add all those dw's to get total work done. Means what? We have to integrate. Integrating means what? Adding, correct now. So, we have to integrate from infinity to this point P or infinity to R. So, where, where to where we have to integrate? We have to integrate from infinity to R. Infinity to R. Okay, we have to integrate this. Now, the derivation is very simple, only simplification part. Um, okay, I will write this once again. Work done is equal to integration of G into M E into M divided by x square into x between the limits infinity and r. Now, what happens? Now, what happens? G is constant, M is constant, small letter M is also constant. Correct now? So, I will take all these three terms outside the integration symbol into integration of 1 by x square with respect to x between the limits infinity and r. Okay. Now, 1 by x square means I can write it as x to the power minus 2. Correct now? g into m e into m into integration of x power minus 2 with respect to x between the limits infinity and r. Now, this is in the form of integration of x power n. What is integration of x power n? Integration of x power n with respect to x is equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Correct now? So, here integration of x power minus 2 with respect to x means what? x power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 means what happens? x power minus 1 divided by minus 1. So, I will write here integration of x power minus 2 with respect to x means w is equal to g into m e into m into integration of x power minus 1 divided by minus 1 between the limits infinity and r. So, how I have integrated I have shown here integration of x power minus 2 is equal to x power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 because it is in this form. Now, what happens? This minus 1 will come here. W is equal to minus g into m e into m okay, into x power minus 1 means I can write it as 1 by x between the limits infinity and r. Now, what to do? How to apply the limits? How to apply the limits? Minus g m e into m into 1 by r, first we have to apply the upper limit, then we have to put a minus symbol, then I have to substitute lower limit 1 by infinity. What is 1 by infinity? 1 by infinity is 0. So, therefore, work done, work done is equal to minus g into m e into m divided by r. According to the definition, gravitational potential energy is the work done in bringing the particle from infinity to r. So, we have calculated work done. So, therefore, I can write by definition, by definition gravitational potential energy is equal to minus g into m e into m divided by r. This is the derivation. Hope you have understood this. Thank you very much.